Hi, my name is Mai. Welcome to my channel. And I'm here to tell you about the parts of the abacus. But let me tell you something about it. An abacus has been used long time ago by Chinese people. And right now I can say that this is considered as a classic calculator. And this is now being used as a tool to enhance the learning skill of a child. So if you are a mom and you want your kid to learn something unique while we are on quarantine, and abacus education is the best. So let me tell you the parts of the abacus right now. All right, so let me start with this rectangular shape. This is the frame of the abacus and that holds everything in it, okay? This horizontal bar, we will call this a separator or the divider. And it has one, two, three, four, five white marks that you can see. But we will focus in the middle. And that's where the uh, ones place value is at. Now you can see these columns, there are 13 of them. Those columns. Those are rods on these abacus. So any bead that touches the divider will make a number or a value of number. And lower beads, each bead has a value of one. Above the uh, horizontal bar, these are upper beads and it, they are actually special. So let me get back to the center, the middle where the one place value is at. So this is the ones place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousand, and one million. So let me go back again to the middle. If you remember, I've mentioned each lower bead has a value of one. So if I'm on ones place, if I will move one lower bead up, that will make one. Two lower beads up, that makes two. Three lower beads up, that makes three. And four, that will make, of course, four. Now, above the separator or divider, this is not just one. It has a value of five. So if I have a five and one together, that will make six. Five and two is seven. Five and three is eight. Five and four is nine. So that's the one's place value. And to the left is the tenth place value, as I mentioned a while ago. So if I will have one ten up, that makes 10. By the way, we are reading from left to right. So if this is a 10, this is a 1 and 0. If I have two tens up or two lower beads up on the tens place, that will make two tens or 20. Three tens, that's 30. Four tens, that makes 40. So again, above the divider has a special bead and that is 5 tenths. So that will make 50. So if I have 50 and 10, that makes 60. A 50 and 20, that's 70. A 50 and 30, that will make 80. And a 50 and 40, that will make 90. So let's try reading the value of the beads. For example, if I'm on the tenths place, I have a 110 and 3 on ones place. So that will make 13. So if I have here three lower beads up on the tens place and five on the ones place, of course, that is 35. Now, if I have this, let's have a bigger number. That's 47. If I have this and this, that is 82. And if I have a 10 and a 5 on the ones place, that will make 15. And if I have this upper bead on the 10th space and this one, that is 51. So the upper beads are actually quite tricky when it comes to uh, being combined with one lower bead once on one space and 10th space. So anyway, so that's, those are the parts of the abacus. So I hope that helps uh, you study the parts of the abacus and I hope you enjoyed my video and I'll be doing some more videos for more lessons from here onwards. So since we had already stuck, uh, tackled or studied the parts of the abacus, I'll be uh, doing some videos for more lessons. So thank you and I hope you enjoyed the video 
and kindly click the uh, bell button to subscribe for my channel. My name is Milen Lorente and you have a wonderful day.